Dear viewers, welcome to our channel Textile Learning. Today our session is about Introduction to Printing. Dear viewers, this is our lecture about waste processing too. This is a course of BSc in Textile Engineering that includes printing and uh, after treatment. We will discuss uh, in this lecture series about the uh, basic uh, process of painting and after treatments. Today our first lecture we will discuss introduction of painting. So let's start. What is painting? Textile painting refers to the localized application of dye or pigments and chemicals by any method which can produce particular effect of color on the fabric according to the design. It is done on the right side of the fabric with the wrong side being unfiltered or much lighter than right side. There are some differences between dyeing and printing process. Dyeing is the localized application of dye and printing is the localized, localized application of dyes or pigments. Dyeing in form of solution and in printing color is in form of thick paste or fiber fabric yarn bow all can be dyed but in printing only fabric can be treated steaming is not required in drying steaming is required uh, for fixation in printing much water is used in drying process but uh, in printing less water is used dyeing can apply only monocolor but mono and multicolor both can be applied on printing dyeing mechanisms are simple and printing machineries are comparatively complex dyeing is held uh, handled in open work or rope form Fabric is handled in only open oil. Salt is required in drying process, but in printing, salt is not used. Color is applied uniformly on both faces, and printed face is darker and other face is paler in printing process. Let us see the printing flowchart. At first, gray textile, then it is uh, treated with pre treatment, then printing paste is prepared, then printing, and then drying and steaming, and at last, after treatments. Gray textile inspection of gray textile, stitching, etc. In pre treatment, it includes brushing, shearing, singeing, resizing, scouring, bleaching, moisturizing, washing, etc. In preparation of printing paste, it depends on the class of dye stuff, printing style, suitable ingredients are used. Printing Printing with a suitable method as skin printing, transfer printing. Then drying and steaming is performed at 100 to 102 degree temperature in a steamer. After treatment may be different types, it depends on process, on dye, on a power requirement, etc. Now we will see some ingredients that required in printing process. The basic component is dye or pigment that is coloring materials. Some other auxiliaries are used. That is wetting agent, thickeners, solvent or dispersing agent, deforming agent, oxidizing agent, reducing agent, catalyst, oxygen carrier, acid alkali and some miscellaneous agents. So uh, we have mentioned that dye or pigment is the main coloring material that is used to achieve color effect on the fabric like hair dye as dye pigments. Then wetting agent. It is an auxiliary used to wet the fabric as well as dye stuff by reducing surface tension of water allowing the dye stuff for easy penetration into the fiber. Olive oil, tear oil etc. are examples of wetting agent, solvent or dispersing agent. To get bright design and to assist dye penetration and fixation, it is used. It prevents the aggregation of dye molecule in highly concentrated on the dye solution. Then we will see thickener. A thickener is a very compulsory auxiliary which are used in printing paste preparation. We will discuss uh, describe uh, about thickener its classification its features uh, on our next uh, lecture uh, here we will discuss in brief it is it gives the required viscosity to the printing paste it prevent premature friction between chemicals contained in the printing paste like sodium alginate cmc british gum guar gum etc deforming agent is used to prevent the foam generation during printing silicon deformer, sulfonated oil, etc. 
Some oxidizing, uh, oxidizing agent may be used to develop the final color during a steaming process or in the subsequent after treatment process. It assists dye fixation like sodium chloride, potassium chloride, sodium nitrate, acid salt, etc. Some reducing agent may be used for the reduction of different dyes. It is used mainly in discharge printing method. It destroys the color from the ground of the fabric. We will discuss it on the on our lecture methods of printing. Sodium uh, hydrosulfate, uh, rongylite, etc. are reducing agents. Catalyst and oxygen carrier are used to prevent fiber damage during ste steaming and accelerating the final color development by oxidation. It reduces the risk of oxidation. Copper sulfate, ammonium, vanadium, etc. Acids or alkalis are used to maintain pH and to fix dye on the fabric permanently. Swilling agent are used to create big size holes of the fabric. It helps to swill the fabric structure, reduce crystallinity and helps the easy penetration of dye molecules inside the fiber polymer. There are some other miscellaneous agents may be used like urea, hygroscopic agent, glycerin, mild oxidizing agent and so on. That was uh, our lecture about the introduction of wet processing to that means printing. Uh, we will discuss uh, our uh, next uh, lecture about thickeners. Thank you. So, dear viewers, let's subscribe our channel Textile Learning and stay tuned with us. Thank you.